guys, welcome back. And welcome to those of you who are new. If this is your first time here on my channel, my name is Camille or Colorful Camille or KK for short. <laughs> and I love makeup, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, all that good stuff, food. <laughs> but yeah, so hi, welcome. Thank you for checking out my video today. So yeah, I wanted to just do a full face of drugstore makeup today. I have been so far away from buying drugstore makeup that I don't know what's new and what's not unless I already have it. So these items are going to be new to me. You know, they could have been out for years for all I know, but they're new to me. So yeah, I created this look today using all drugstore products and I'm taking you guys along with me, you know, on a little field trip, a little KK field trip, okay, to go get these products. And then we're going to just sit down and put all this stuff on my face and hear my first impression thoughts. So if that is something that sounds interesting to you, then stick around because it's coming up next. So I think I'm going to try CVS. And it's good if CVS is a bust, then I can just go across the street <laughs> to Walgreens and see what they have. But yeah, it's pretty cool because there's a CVS right over here and there's a Walgreens right over there. So we're going to check CVS out. First. Okay, guys, so these are all of the goodies that I grabbed <laughs> at CVS to try out, play with. So, um, obviously, it's not a full face of makeup, so I'm going to have to fill in the blanks with uh, items from my own collection. I don't even know what this palette fully looks like because I didn't take it out the box in the store. So, let's see what it looks like now. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. There's some pretty shades in here. I'm glad there's some nice kind of neutral deepening shades some pops of color so yeah this this will work this will work and then you know I got this pro jewels from LA girl I've never seen it before it might have been out for a long time but I've never seen it so okay so this is a better look at the LA girl palette definitely a nice range of colors so yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use the two palettes together or just this one, but we'll see. Okay guys, I'm back ready to use these products. I went ahead and cleaned up my eyebrows. As you can see, I already kind of filled them in and concealed them so that they're nice and neat. Now I was looking at these two palettes, this LA Girl palette, the Pro Jewels, very, very pretty, gorgeous colors in here. But even though I'm very happy there's a black, it's like all the other matte shades are kind of super duper light, 
which makes it difficult to kind of blend that black into something so light. Like I need something a little bit darker of an in-between type brown or something like that to work with for that black because the light shades and the black is just too far apart. So I was looking in this other palette from the Cream Shop. And in this palette, there is this shade here, which is a little bit more feasible if I want to use that black, which I'm not sure if I do. So I'm just going to kind of go back and forth and bounce around and see what I come up with from these two palettes combined together. Now, I don't think I have a drugstore eyeshadow primer, so I'm just going to use my Wet n Wild um, Photo Focus Concealer to prime my eyelids for the eyeshadow. But before I do that, I want to go in with a moisturizer. I did wash my face. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Face Cream. This I already had in my collection, so we're just going to keep it 100% uh, drugstore today. Now, I don't know what <laughs> I'm going to title this. Uh... <laughs> that don't look good, Camille. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to title this video because I definitely cannot title it uh, affordable makeup. Like, there's no way in the world I'm going to title this affordable makeup just because it's drugstore because, honey, $130 for what I purchased no ma'am <laughs> no ma'am i definitely see why it is that i don't particularly like to um just go in a drugstore and purchase makeup i think for the quality you know every now and then you get a nice gym but honestly for the quality mm -mm, i don't think it's worth it not at these prices <laughs> so it's probably just going to be called, you know, Full Face Drugstore. Okay, so I do want to go in with this Milani Keep It Full Max. This is a plumping lip gloss. I thought these looked really pretty. They had some pretty colors. This one is 130 <laughs> Situation Ship, okay? So I'm just going to put this on and see if it will add a little plumping action to my lips while I'm doing the rest of my face. It doesn't really smell like anything. But I love this color of lip gloss. You know, like a really pretty corally peachy tone, especially during the spring and summer. You know, I can just put that on with a um, lip liner and I'm good to go. Okay, so I feel it tingling a little. So it definitely has a little bit of plumping action going on. I couldn't decide if I wanted to do my face first or my eyes first today. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do my eyes face. <laughs> my eyes face. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes first today and um, then do my complexion. So if I do get fallout from these palettes, it's not a big deal when my complexion not already being done. Okay, so I think I want to start out with this pink shade here. It's really pretty. This pink shade and this peachy shade are calling to me. So I'm going to start out with the pink one and see how that applies. And I'm just kind of tapping it in the crease, you know, to get that color down before I start blending. Because I don't really expect for um, LA Girl shadows to perform like the indie brands that I'm used to using. Those shadows are so pigmented that you really have to be careful when you go in and, you know, make sure that you don't put too, too much on your eyes. But with drugstore shadows, that's typically not the case. But LA Girl has nice shadows. As you can see, that color is really pretty. It's really showing up. And so I'm just really kind of Throwing that in the crease because I don't want to take forever to do this eye look. I have all these other products to try, right? Yeah, that's really, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to go into this peachy shade to see, you know, how that will kind of blend out the edge of that pink, the outer edge. I love these kind of colors blended together to create, you know, kind of like a gradient. 
So that's what I'm going to try and do here. Okay, that's blending it out quite nicely, actually. Very pretty. Sometimes drugstore shadows can be fun to play with because of the fact that they're not super duper pigmented. So it's like, I don't feel like I have to be as careful sometimes with these. I can just kind of go in and pack them on and blow them out, you know, since I like a lot of color. <laughs> I don't have to be super duper careful like with more pigmented palettes. Not to say I don't like pigment. Now y'all know I like pigment, but you know, sometimes it's nice to be able to just go in and throw shadow on and <laughs> and not stress too much about, you know, the placement and everything. So, I'm really liking how these two colors are blending together and the fact that that shade is actually showing up. It's not like super duper pigmented because and i didn't use a white base either but you can definitely see it it's really pretty okay so now i'm going to go into this palette here and i'm going to take this darker shade and place some of that in my crease just so i can add a little bit of depth hopefully i mean i'm not familiar with this <laughs> brand so the pigmentation on this palette might be even lighter <laughs> than the la girl but we'll see. We'll see if I can get any depth out of here. So far, yeah, it's getting a little bit deeper, so that's nice. And just blending it into that pink shade. Yeah, this is working out perfectly. So now that I have my crease nice and deep like I wanted, all those colors blended together, I'm going to go in with my Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. So I can go ahead and cut this crease. I have not done this in probably over a year. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this crease and I'll be right back. Okay, cut crease is done. Not perfect, but good enough. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure exactly what shimmers I wanna use. So I'm gonna swatch the shimmers from each palette. This one has this pretty shimmer here. Kinda light. Eh, that one's not very exciting. So these are the shimmers from this palette. Uh, I think I like this pinky one the most out of here. This purple is pretty, but it's kind of light. So I might go with this pink one down here. Now let's see what the LA Girl has to offer. Okay, so for shimmers, we have this one here, which is a really pretty fuchsia. We have these lighter pinks. I'll just go ahead and swatch the ones that I'm actually considering using. So those are the pretty, pretty bright springtime colors in here. I think I'm probably just going to go with this palette for the shimmers. I think I'll do like the gold and this pretty fuchsia. And I might even add a little bit of this turquoise blue green shade. Okay, so I'm going to start out with this gold. And I'm just applying this in the very first part of this cut crease. I don't really want to put um, any type of glitter glue or anything on there since I already have the cut crease and I have the shadow and I have the concealer. I have so much stuff on my eyes already that this gold is just going to have to stick, okay? And so far, it is showing up very nicely. Very, very pretty. <laughs> Lots of fallout, so I'm glad I didn't do my base first. If I would have used the glitter glue, I probably wouldn't have as much fallout, but it's definitely falling out from, just from the brush, so. It's all good, it's all good. That's why we do our eyes first, okay? This gold is so pretty. I'm tempted to almost just do one color on the lid. Just go with this gold all the way across. That'd probably be pretty. Yeah, that's very pretty and I'm very impressed. Okay, so next I'm going to go ahead and go into this fuchsia shade. Now this one is not showing up as bright or as bold. 
I feel like it might come off a little better with my finger. Yeah, it's showing up a little better with my finger, but it's still not as bright and vibrant as, you know, you would think it would be going on the eye. So this one, I would say, um, it probably show up better with, it would probably show up better with a glitter glue. But since I already started with that one, we're going to continue. <laughs> And you know what, just to kind of blend that gold with that purple a little better, I'm gonna go into this shade here a little bit and just tap a little bit of that in between those two shades to see if I can get a better blend. Yeah, so that helps it to blend a little bit better, those two colors. Yeah, this fuchsia shade is not my favorite. It looks much prettier in the pan and on the finger, I think, than it does on the eye. It seems like it's a little bit of a hybrid shimmer in matte. You know, it's not like super duper um, shiny or shimmery. So it appears to be a very muted shimmer shadow. Okay, so now I want to go ahead and deepen these outer corners. Add a little bit of drama to this look. So now I'm going to go into this black in the LA Girl palette and just tap a bit of that on the outer corner. This black is definitely not one of the more pigmented blacks that I've ever worked with. So you really don't have to be afraid to go in with this black because it's pretty powdery and very easy to blend and easy to use. So yeah, like I was saying earlier, shadows like this for like beginners or people that are scared of, you know, going in and thinking that they're going to be using too much color. These kind of shadows make it easier to play around with, um, you know, color and black, as you can see, I'm dipping in the pan like this and <laughs> putting it on my eye and it's like, it's really just coming off very muted all on its own. You know, it's like I'm not having to really be careful with it. It's already very muted. So I like that because it's working out. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that black really brought the drama. Now that I have the eyes complete, I'm going to throw on some liner and lashes and then we'll move on to these face products. Okay, so I went ahead and did a wing liner and I used my Wet n Wild Mega Liner that I used to use all the time back in the day from the drugstore. And the lashes are these Ardell Wispies uh, 701s. So those are the lashes that I put on. The liner is a little wonky, but we move, okay? Now, I wish I would have put on some of this mascara that I bought before I put my lashes on because now... I'm just going to put a little bit to blend my own lashes in with the falsies, but um, I'm not really sure if you're going to be able to see the mascara until I put it on my lower lashes. So anyways, this is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Mascara. Really pretty um, container. Very, very pretty. So let's check it out. And this is what it looks like. So it looks like it's a little thick. A nice big juicy wand so I'm just adding a little bit so I can blend my own lashes in a little bit with the falsies okay so for primer today you guys I'm going in with this Maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser this I've had forever I don't even know if they sell this anymore because um, I don't believe I saw it today at the drugstore but this is like an OG back in the day it was like a real viral primer people love this stuff for blurring pores so we're going to see how it works today with the rest of this drugstore makeup yeah it feels really really good this stuff is just it's super clear i don't know if you haven't seen it before 
that's what it looks like. So it looks clear and it just feels super smooth on the skin. And it's supposed to make it as smooth as a baby's bottom, okay? <laughs> Before you put on your foundation. So we shall see. Okay, you guys. And one thing I always do, which I will not skip, is going in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer. I always go in with this because a lot of foundations and concealers just do not cover my dark circles and my hyperpigmentation. So instead of... Instead of using like, you know, a orange color corrector, I just go in with this just under my eyes and stuff like that. Because if it's one thing that drives me insane, it's when I put on my foundation and I can still see my dark circles through my foundation. And then if I put on this concealer and I can still see my dark circles through my concealer that's really going to annoy me <laughs> you know if i do a full face of makeup and it's like okay i can still see all of my dark circles i'm going to be irritated so not skipping this step okay because this is how i would normally put on my makeup anyway so that's what i'm gonna do and you know you'll be able to see on the rest of my face um the coverage of this foundation, this Elf, uh, Halo Glow Liquid Filter Foundation. So, okay, so this is a foundation I grabbed, this Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter um, Foundation. And I believe I have the shade Tan Deep, if I'm not mistaken, but this is what it looks like, if you're curious. Not sure if it's new or old or whatever, but it's new to me. I've never tried it. Oh, did not know it had a giant wand. <laughs> so, yeah, it has a giant wand applicator, just in case you're not familiar with it. Uh, I don't really like wand applicators, and I don't know about this shade either, y'all. I just kind of eyeballed it. The drugstore doesn't necessarily have the best uh, lighting, okay? So, I'm just going to go in like this and take my handy dandy damp sponge and work it in and the parts um that i have concealed i just kind of blend those out at the same time Ooh, i'm liking how this is looking so far yes okay not bad it's funny how the more you use makeup or should i say even the more that you buy makeup um going into the store how it becomes a lot easier for you to pick your shade of foundation and stuff like that it's still hard for me to pick out concealers because sometimes in the packaging concealers can look a lot lighter or a lot darker than they truly are in the pack and i don't know why that is because um you know, with foundations, I can typically tell a little bit easier. But for some reason, <laughs> with concealers, it's like I'll get one and I'll be like, oh, yeah, this looks like a good shade. And it'll be like, no, that is way too light or it's way too dark. And I don't know why concealers are a bit harder for me than foundations. So we'll just see today how I did picking out this concealer. So, so far, I'm really liking the coverage. I'm liking the finish. Um, it's not like a super duper full coverage. You can even see where I concealed because I'm using a sponge. I'm probably lifting up some of the concealer and the foundation here. You can still see it's a little darker around my mouth. But as far as just the overall look and coverage of this foundation, I'm really liking it. What do you guys think? Have you used this foundation already before? Do you like it? It doesn't feel super heavy or anything like that. It has like a little bit of glowiness to it. I like that. I feel like this might be something that I um will be using like for the spring and summertime because it's not super duper heavy. Okay, so the concealer for today is this Black Radiance True Complexion Longwear Concealer. 
So that's what the packaging looks like. Yeah, I don't see a shade. I might have ripped it off with the wrapper because I don't see, there's a number under here, but that's not a shade. So I'm just gonna try to use this to brighten. Okay, that's not too bad. I didn't do too, too bad. This actually seems like it might be a decent shade for me to brighten with. Okay. It smells interesting. It kind of smells like butterscotch, actually. <laughs> so those are the areas that I'm going to brighten. And I'm going to use my little elf sponge. Um, it's damp already. This is the one that I use to kind of blot out my eyeshadow primer. And this larger one I get from Shop Miss A. You know, they're big pink sponges. Really, really nice. Okay, it's not bad, not bad at all. I feel like, yeah, possibly if I didn't, you know, do my previous concealing under my eyes, it might be showing through because this concealer doesn't seem like it's super duper thick or super duper, um, you know, pigmented as far as coverage wise, but it's definitely showing up and showing out right now okay so i'm not mad about that it's looking real nice and smooth under my eyes okay i do kind of get the feeling that i need to hurry up and powder <laughs> because um this concealer seems like it does dry down rather quickly and um it could end up creasing if i don't go ahead and set it while it's still a little bit moist you know it's definitely drying down um faster than i would like so if you like like a dewy you know a super dewy concealer this ain't it <laughs> but it's not super dry either it's just i can feel that it is it needs to be set okay so since i was not able to find a lighter powder to set my highlighted areas i'm going to be using my collab powder i used to use this all the time back in the day i don't know if it's considered a drugstore uh powder because it is a bit well it used to be available at sally beauty supply i don't know if they still sell it or if this brand even still exists but yeah this one is in almond caramel so I'm going to hurry up and use a little bit of this to set my highlighted areas. And I'm just going in with a triangle shaped puff to place that powder down. And I'm definitely like tapping off my puff as much as I can before I place the powder down because yeah i do not need to be trying to bake and all that stuff <laughs> not with my aged uh, under eyes and stuff i don't need to bake so and even with the puff it applies um more powder than i would like at times so yeah i don't like a super powdery look you know with my makeup I do like a nice blurred look, but not like crazy powdered. So I will definitely use setting spray to bring that moisture back into my uh, skin. Okay, so I have that all set. Now the powder that I chose, you guys, I'm really kind of debating whether or not I want to actually use it because it looks pretty dark. I grabbed this Maybelline Superstay 24 hour, um, what is it, Ultra matte look weightless feel powder <laughs> anyways there's a whole lot going on on here uh but this powder is it honestly it looks a little dark <laughs> so i'm gonna go in pretty lightly with it just to kind of see oh it's hot i'm sweating y'all like y'all see that sweat <laughs> 
I am going to go in with this powder pretty lightly um because I don't want to turn into like a chocolate bonbon right now so yeah I'm gonna go in with it pretty lightly just to get a feel for it and hopefully not over powder because I feel like it's dark if it looks okay then great I'll keep it no problem if not I think it's going back because I have enough bronzers <laughs> to use to last a lifetime so I'm just going to lightly tap it and hopefully it doesn't um you see that it's already starting to look like a bronzer on me I might not even have to use bronzer today Ugh. yeah I feel like I got unintentionally I got a new bronzer Yeah, I'm just going to apply it in my areas that I would normally bronze because <laughs> I can see, you can see it, it looks like a bronzer, so. And I knew that too. When I picked it up at the store, I was like, no, you know that that's too, too warm for you. It's too, it's a beautiful shade. It really is, but yeah, it's for me to just use it as an all over powder on my face it's too dark so <sighs> yeah i just have to decide if i want to keep <laughs> keep this as a bronzer that's so funny because it's actually like a beautiful shade of bronze <laughs> it actually is okay well i don't have to put on a bronzer Okay, so for blush, let me go ahead and take this out. I got this Cream Shop Blush, and this is a blush balm in the shade Love Struck. Let me take it out of the packaging, because child, it's so cute. Look how cute that is. Really, really cute. And that's what that looks like on the back. So yeah, let me, oh, oh this color is so pretty. I hope it shows up on me. And I hope it doesn't act up, you know, on top of powder because I like cream type blushes that I can apply on top of my powder so I'm just going to take the butt end of my beauty blender and I'm just kind of dipping it in here trying to pick some up and it's crazy because with this being pink you know I don't know it's hard to tell if I'm picking any up oh I see that I see it Oh. oh that's so pretty and it looks pretty with this eye look as well yeah oh that's pretty and it's giving me a little bit of glow uh. oh oh that's pretty can y'all see it I can see it it's really really pretty and it does it has like a little glow to it oh it's so gorgeous and I'll just sit here and keep putting it on and putting it on and putting it on like, girl, chill out. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything. Oh, that's pretty. I need to chill out because I got blush. <laughs> it's just all over the place. But it's gorgeous. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Yeah, this is definitely a really, really nice blush. Like if you're just doing like a really glowy look just for the day and everything that you're you know all of your makeup is nice and glowy and you're not you know trying to be all matte and everything yeah I feel like this blush is perfect for that type of makeup look I mean as you can see I have it all over the place but I can you know I can blend that out but yeah oh this blush is so pretty Y'all know I'm on this spring and summer kick right now, okay? Oh, I love it, love it, love it. So yeah, we'll see how it holds up before I go recommending it. <laughs> it might be gone before I finish my makeup look. <laughs> okay, and lastly for the face, I'm gonna go ahead and use this e.l.f. This is the Glow Gleam Beam Highlighter Palette. I've had this like forever, for a lifetime. Um, and I basically just kind of use these highlighters in here. Of course, these 
yeah those are not really my vibe this one is pretty but i think i'm gonna go in with this one today since i have kind of like a peachy type cheek so yeah i'm gonna go in with this one today and this is not new i've had this in my collection forever i wasn't able to find a highlighter that i wanted to buy so and with this blush i really don't feel like i need a whole lot of highlight on because that blush actually is giving me a nice little glow so i'm just gonna put a little bit just so that it'll show whenever the light hits you know my cheekbone so yeah just a little bit okay so for the lower lash line i'm going to use a drugstore pencil that i already had in my collection since i didn't buy a new one this is the la girl glide gel liner and i'm just going to use black and this truly is a very very nice gel eyeliner it really does just glide on super smooth it's very nice la girl makes some of the nicest eyeliners their gel liners And then to kind of smoke out my lower lash line, I'm going to take this palette. Did I ever say the name of this palette? This is the Galactic Nine Shade Palette <laughs> from the Cream Shop. But I'm going to take this shade here and just kind of smoke out my lower lash line a little bit. I don't want it too smoky, just a little bit, just like a hint of smokiness. Just like that, just a little bit of smoke. So next, I'm going to go into this shade here and see if that will add just a little bit of pop in my inner corner. Yep. <laughs> okay guys, so now I'm going back in with the Maybelline um, Falsies Lash Lift Mascara just to see what it does on my lower lash line. And hopefully I don't make a mess. Okay, from what I can see, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. I'll definitely try using it on my upper lashes, you know, without falsies or before falsies. Just to get a better feel for it. But just from what I can see on my lower lashes, it's not bad not bad at all it's not anything mind-blowing but it works you know okay next i want to go ahead and use this covergirl exhibitionist cream lipstick and this one is in the shade uh pink sherbet pink sherbet very very pretty shade one of my favorite types of shades um, but I am going to go in with a lip liner. And since we're sticking with um, drugstore makeup, I'm going to use a ColourPop lippy pencil. This is one of my OG old school favorite. If you're OG, you already know which one this is. This is the Ellery. I had to go in my stash and crack this out because I haven't used this in forever. But yeah, this is the Ellery pencil from ColourPop, one of my absolute favorites. Um, and so I'm going to line my lips with this. Now, since this lip liner is a really gorgeous burgundy plummy type shade all on its own, um, you know, the lipstick is going to blend in with this. So I will go ahead and swatch this. Um, on my hand so we can see the color before I put it on my lips so that's the color it feels very creamy very smooth very very pretty so I'm going to see how this looks with this lip liner
Oh, that's very, very pretty. It has like a pinky, more of a pinky hue to it. But it looks really pretty. I like how it mixed with that lip liner. Oh, and it feels very comfortable, very nice and slick. I like it, so. So far, so good. Very, very pretty from CoverGirl. Okay, and last but not least, I did grab a setting spray. Definitely did not need one, but I wanted to try one that I haven't tried before from the drugstore. This one is Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. So we're going to go ahead and try this one out today. Okay, you guys, so this is the final look for my full face of drugstore. And I have to say, I am not mad at it, okay? Not mad at it at all. I haven't done a cut crease eye look in a very long time. And so I'm actually kind of remembering why I loved cut creases so much because they just really define the eyes and I love how they look. But yeah, I would say out of all the products that I use today, my favorite would be the blush for sure. This um, Cream Shop blush in the shade Love Struck, I really like it. I really do. I like the subtleness of it. I like the glowiness of it. I really like it. For the eyeshadow palettes, this Cream Shop eyeshadow palette, mm, it's okay. I mean, it's a drugstore palette. Would I reach for it again? Not sure. I would have to use this palette by itself to really kind of get more of a feel for it. This shade down here worked out perfectly for me, though. In that crease, it did what it needed to do, okay? The shimmers seem to be a little light for me, so like I said, I'd have to do a whole look just using this palette to really, you know, have an opinion on it. This LA Girl Pro Jewels palette, I think it's a pretty nice palette. A pretty nice palette for drugstore. The pink showed up nicely. Even the peach blended out that pink nicely. The black, even though it's not a super duper pigmented black, it did what it needed to do, okay? And I think for someone or those of you who don't like to use a black that's too strong because it can get out of hand really quickly, this is perfect for you because it's like you can build it up, but you're really, it would be really, really hard to go overboard with this black shadow. For the shimmers, the gold, phenomenal. The silver, phenomenal. The purple, this fuchsia shade that I went in, eh, quite disappointing. Um, yeah, very disappointing, but I guess, you know, you could try to use different mediums, maybe a, a glitter glue or something like that to make it really show up and pop or put it on top of white. I don't know, but I was disappointed in that. So just for the few shades that I used out of this palette, I think it's actually a decent drugstore palette, quite honestly, though. Um, for the other shades that I used, I really like them. I love how they're looking on my eyes right now. I like how they blended and they feel good. So this, I would say, I don't remember how much I paid for this. Um, I have to look at my receipt. Was this like $14.99 or something? So that's not too bad. Um, the Lip Plumper Gloss. Lip Plumper Glosses don't plump my lips. This one felt really nice. It was cute. This is something that I would actually throw in my purse and just, you know, put it on throughout the day. It felt good on my lips while I was doing my makeup, so no issues with it, but plumpers really don't plump my lips, <laughs> so I don't expect them to, but yeah, I liked it. It had just a slight tingle just to say, hey, I'm a plumper, but it wasn't anything that stung like some plumpers do, so yeah. Not a problem with that. Definitely will use that up. This e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid, what is it? Liquid Filter Foundation. I'm liking it. Y'all tell me what you think as far as how it looks. The shade that I picked, I think I did pretty good. Um, but I'm liking it. I really am, okay? So yeah, I might be using this quite a bit during this season because my face doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't feel cakey, and the coverage, as you can see, is decent. Okay, so for this Black Radiance True Complexion Longwear Concealer, 
I actually like it. I do. It's, I don't feel any type of like cakiness or dryness. I feel like it's giving me enough coverage for what I do and what I like. So that's a good thing because I've used several concealers that don't give me enough coverage. So I feel like it's the shade that I have, nice amount of brightening. It's not too, too bright. It's concealing, it's holding up. It's not looking dry and cakey under my eyes or anything like that. So I like it. Very, very glad about that. Like I said, with concealers, it's kind of iffy as far as me picking out the right shade. But that one, I think, works out perfectly for me. The mascara, I still have to try this out a bit more. Um, it didn't blow my socks off or anything like that. Like I said, on the lower lashes, it's looking pretty nice. But I do want to see what it would do on my top lashes by themselves with no falsies. And then the last two products, this CoverGirl lipstick. I think you guys already know. I really, really like It's very comfortable. Like, even with me talking right now, it's like, it's extremely comfortable. It feels really light, really airy. Um, it's not sticky or heavy, so I really like it. This shade of pink, I think with different types of lip liners, it would take on different types of shades because like right now, it looks a lot more pinky purpley than it actually does um, you know, in the container to me. I think if I did a brown lip liner, it would look more peachy coral. That's just my thoughts, but we'll see in the future because I will be using that. And then lastly, this uh, Black Radiance Matte Setting Spray. I mean, I don't know if it's necessarily making my makeup matte because I still have a lot of glow. <laughs> I have a lot of glow coming through, honey. I don't know if it's just my personality shining through or what, but... I still have a lot of glow coming through, but my face so far does not feel oily or anything like that. So we'll see throughout the day how it holds up. I will keep you guys posted because I'm going to go ahead and use this quite a bit for the rest of the month and see how I feel about it. So yeah, that's it you guys for today's video. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me, trying out some new semi-expensive <laughs> drugstore makeup, okay? And yeah, I had a lot of fun. So let me know down in the comments what you think. Don't forget to hit like. If you're not already subscribed and you like what you see, definitely consider subscribing and joining the KK Squad, okay? And that's it, y'all. I will see you on my next video. Toodles!